Hello there, this is Joshua and you're watching JNS videos. Now this is quite a different video which I'm doing this time. So to begin with, I want to let you know the reason why I'm doing this video is because I have been doing quite a bit of research on various topics and something which I stumbled upon recently was the Flat Earth. <laughs> I know it sounds quite stupid at the start, but some of the arguments of the Flat Earth actually makes quite a lot of sense. I've been quite inspired by particularly Rob Skiba and Zen Garcia especially on the biblical point of view and even though I'm quite convinced about the possibility of the flat earth that is one major problem which I find in this model so this is what I'm going to share here now so this is the video which I have made as you can see the yellow spot which is the sun which moves around in circles and it completes one circle in 24 hours so by 24 hours a day which consists of both day and night so the problem which I'm going to talk about it today is the issue of the longer days in the southern hemisphere that is in the month of December when we have summers in the south we get sunlight for almost 15 to 16 hours in some places before going into that detail let me first tell you what this red line is this red line is the Tropic of Capricorn and this is where the Sun travels directly over this line during the month of December especially on December 21st uh, which is the longest day we have in the southern hemisphere. Um, now, uh, this is the model which I've created uh, here. Um, this map uh, is the most commonly used map by all the flat others. And the software which I'm using is SolidWorks. Um, I'm an automotive design engineer, so I use this software quite a lot. So I'm taking the help of this software to do this video. Um, so for this issue, uh, let's take the example of Dunedin. Uh, Dunedin is in New Zealand. Uh, so the Dunedin is somewhere here. Now as you can see this line. So this line passes somewhere directly above uh, Dunedin. Um, I will tell you what these lines are. Um, this I have divided the entire map into a 24 hours. So, uh, so you, you will come to know what these lines are in a moment. So uh, before that, let's go to the website uh, called Time and Date. Uh, so as you can see, this is quite a useful website. You find a lot of information here. Uh, you can find the sunrise and sunset, uh, the moonrise, uh, moonset, moon phases, eclipses. A lot of information here. It's quite a useful website. Uh, so let's use this website to find the sunrise and sunset time of Dunedin, New Zealand. So I've set the location as Dunedin. Uh, and I have said the month as December and you can see uh, the sunrise and sunset time on each date so let us go to December 21st December 21st is supposed to be the longest day uh, during summer in the southern hemisphere so here yeah, the this time for the sunrise and the sunset as you can see the sun rises at around 5.44 a.m and then it is directly overhead at around 136 and then the sun sets at around 9 30 pm so what uh, we will do is we'll keep a note of this time 5:45. let's round it up to 5 45 1 30 and 9 30 and what i'm going to do is i'm going to plot the locations of the sunrise the sunset and when it is directly overhead in our flat earth model so let's go back to the model. So uh, Dunedin is here. So and as we all know, the sun passes directly and travels directly over the Tropic of Capricorn, which is this line. So at around 1:30 uh, Dunedin uh, local New Zealand time, the sun should be here. So I have plotted that, and here it is. So the sun is here at 1 30 New Zealand time so now let's find out where the Sun would be at 5 45 a.m. that's when the Sun rises for New Zealand so I have plotted that as well so as we can see the Sun is here at 5 45 a.m. I'll let you know how I have calculated so as I mentioned earlier these lines have divided into a 24 hour cycle so if this is 1 30 so I've calculated it back uh, like 12 30 11 30 10 30 9 30 8 30 
seven thirty, six thirty, and five thirty. And five forty-five, the sun should be little uh, way up in the front. So this is where the sun would be at five forty-five a.m. And let now let's see the sunset, which is nine thirty. So if this is one thirty. Then 2 30, 3 30, 4 30, 5 30, 6 30, 7 30, 8 30, and 9 30. So, this is where the sun should be at around 9 30. So, let's see. So, here it is. The sun is here at around 9 30 pm. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll verify whether these location of the sun, uh, whether it is right. Uh, we'll use timeanddate.com again. Uh, so this is the page so you can see find the sun at another time in a location so what I have done is I have keyed in 21st December 2016 and I've set the sunrise time which is 544 and I have mentioned the location as Dunedin so here it is so you can see the sun is at this location so let's compare it with the flat earth and so here it is, the sun is exactly the same position where I have plotted in timeanddate.com. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll verify uh, when the sun is directly overhead in the afternoon. So the time was 1.35. Um, should be pm so study and let's change the time okay so the sun is exactly here you see uh, dunedin is somewhere here and the topic of capricorn is somewhere here so the sun is exactly at this position so let's compare it here here it is you can see the sun is exactly north of Dunedin and in Tropic of Capricorn you can have a look again exactly north of Dunedin and in the Tropic of Capricorn okay so let's verify the sunset time as well so the sunset time is 9 30 so that should be 21 30 and let's change the time again so, so the sun is here at this location so let's verify that again see here is the sunset location and the sun is exactly in this position close to this island and let's go back and the sun is here so I can say the model which I have plotted and the locations are quite accurate as per timeanddate.com. Now let me explain to you where the problem is. As we know this is the sunrise location for Dunedin, New Zealand. So the sunlight has to travel all the way from here to here. And a person who is standing in Dunedin, New Zealand should be able to see the sun all the way from here to here. Now if we come to this location, it's fine as it is directly overhead and it is closest to Dunedin, New Zealand. But again, if you come to the sunset location, you can see how far the sun is from New Zealand. But the person in New Zealand should be still be able to see the sun as far from here. So as you can see, these locations are quite far from Dunedin. So what I'll do is I'll explain to you much in a much better way as well so what i'll do is i'm going to hide the sun at the overhead and also the sunset so now what i've done is if the sun is at this location and sunlight is reaching all the way to new zealand so what i've done is i have plotted a circle so i'm going to switch on the circle so here it is so this should be the range of the sunlight if it has to reach Dunedin. You see how big the range of the sunlight is? Almost the entire earth has got sunlight. Okay, let's have a look. 
what happens during sunset as well if this is the case you see how big the circle is so almost the entire earth has sunlight so this is a major problem which I find in the flat earth and I think most of the flat earthers ignore the southern hemisphere so the reason why I'm doing this video is I hope somebody could see this video understand the issue and uh, could come up with a good response and I also hope uh, Rob or Zen if you guys are watching this video I hope you guys also could come up with a good response that would be great so that's it and this is Joshua signing off and you're watching JNS videos